One of the most interesting and paradoxical aspects of uh, Iran's foreign relations is that on the whole, relations with Turkey have remained friendly. Now think of it. In the early 1980s, Turkey is still run by the Kemalists, and Turkey is the most secular regime in the Muslim Middle East, with the possible exception of Tunisia. Iran becomes a theocracy. In other words, Turkey and Iran, at the beginning of the 1980s, are at the two ends of the spectrum, going from secularism to a religious state. And yet, there was very little clash between them. One reason is that since the 1840s, basically, uh, the border, the western borders of Iran uh, have been fixed. There have been minor adjustments here and there, but there is no border issue between the two countries. And uh, perhaps also there is, at least at the unconscious level, an idea among Turkish and Iranian leaders uh, that something connects them and that something is the fact that they are not Arabs. To this day, Turkey is the only country for which Iranian citizens don't need a visa and uh, vice versa. And what this means is that every time there's a problem in Iran, thousands of Iranians cross the border into Turkey and Turkey has become at least a provisional home, a temporary home for many uh, Iranians uh, fleeing persecutions of various types in Iran. For instance, there was a big movement again after the failure of the Green Movement in uh, 2009 and so on. So there is a large Iranian presence in, uh, in Turkey now uh, and trade has uh, multiplied between them. Iran is a market for Turkish products, uh, Turkey is a market for Iranian gas and so on. So relatively friendly uh, relationship that has linked the two countries.